Good morning, guys. Uh, so my last video, I went over the new OpenAI and ChatGPT4 uh, updates and releases. And I'll just jump right into it. I've been playing around with the assistance. Now, this is going to be the same tool um, that you can use to, I think, start building out these uh, GPTs, which is uh, which gives you the option to kind of create your own um, your own tools. Uh, right now, I don't have access through here, but I'm pretty sure. If I click this, it's not going to work. Yeah, I don't think this is it. Uh, when I click here, uh, or going into uh, the OpenAI Playground, which is play platform.openai.com, uh, but you'll have it if you have set this up on your or with your ChatGPT account. Uh, you can access assistance, which I'm pretty sure is uh, is a is the s same thing as what you'll be getting uh, when they have the actual ChatGPT, uh, I guess front end from their uh, from their web app or from their uh, browser app. But basically, uh, on the back end here on the actual OpenAI Playground, I decided to start with a keyword tool uh, to help um, build a list of semantically relevant keywords. Right, really basic tool. A lot of people are paying for keyword tools. These tools are expensive. And the first thing that came to mind playing with the OpenAI assistance was to build a keyword boss, uh, as it's called. So my my uh, my my prompt or my my script is: You are a keyword tool designed to help find semantically relevant keywords for niches that people would use to build our content websites. Da da da. da. Topics organized into content hubs. When asked for keywords, provide the keywords and organize them into the mentioned content hubs. Please provide the main content hub topic slash category uh, title before providing the keywords. And this is the latest uh, model, 1106 preview. Uh, you can add with this here, uh, you can use this to upload um, like code and, and yeah, uh, I'll just show you guys so I don't sound like an idiot. Yeah, uh, sorry, not access, that's for the retrieval. With this, it can write and run code, uh, so that'll be for things like generating files uh, and for things like graphs or images or stuff like that. And the preview they did on the GPT uh, Open Dev or Dev AI, uh, what was it? I don't know. Display was something like that with an actual map and retrieval is yeah for when you upload your own files. But for the purpose of this video, I just built a super quick keyword tool, and let me just show you guys the. Uh, two tests that I've done with it already that I think cost like three cents. Uh, so not really anything at all. And this, it would be, I think in threads. Yeah. So this is the bot. Here's the threads. So the first one, and it was just not that long ago. Uh, the first one was for New Brunswick, right? Can you provide me with a list of 100 keywords from a website about New Brunswick? Now remember, when you're asking the bot to do this, it's going to put your content into content hubs. And you can do this on ChatGPT and even GPT-4, but you're not going to get it as uh, a, a, as finely tuned, as tightly relevant as you are with uh, using the actual assistance backend. So it gave me the hubs, right? Travel and tourism, culture and heritage. And look at these keywords, right? Things to do New Brunswick, travel guide, best time to visit New Brunswick, New Brunswick parks, adventure activities. It gave me another hub, culture and heritage, arts and crafts, history, music scene, cultural landmarks, right? Nature and wildlife, really specific things, bird watching, waterfalls, wildlife tours, right? Outdoor activities, a lot of things that I don't even have yet on the site. Education and research, right? Scholarships, like these hubs are incredible, right? Really incredible hubs. It gave me the 100 keywords in, in just seconds. Um, and for things that I haven't even uh, thought of or pulled from my own keyword research. I then added Moncton, right? Which is a town in, uh, in New Brunswick. And uh, it formatted it differently, right? It didn't format the um, it didn't format the titles as nicely. But you can see here for travel and tourism, right? Attractions, magnetic kill, these are very specific things to do. Hotels, nightlife, right? Now living in Moncton, everything you'd want related to living in Moncton. And some of this is content I still don't even have on the site that would be super useful and super relevant, right? Even culture and art scene, really specific. And what's interesting when you go back to the actual, the overall content hub, a lot of people think you're going to need these keyword tools for things like volume and keyword difficulty. I don't think you're going to need those uh, much longer. Uh, so for tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush or uh, keyword, what is it, the Mangools tool, um, they maybe are, should start to be a little bit worried, especially if you're doing semantic, uh, finding these tools that are semantically relevant, 
right? And the, like I've showed you guys before, the easiest way to see if there's interest in those in those keywords is let's just choose this one here. Eco Lodge is in New Brunswick. If Google gives you relevant results to what you're looking for, right? If Google's gonna show you a relevant result, right? And if you just search this, you got Eco Resort. So if Google shows you relevant result relevant results, you know there's gonna be interest, right? There's ads, so there's definitely interest already. And then scrolling down, you can see eco, I mean, I'm in the way here, let me move my huge head. You can see eco camping, right? Eco-friendly cabins, eco resort. There's people also ask camping. So you're gonna have to use your own due diligence here or it's gonna be more at your discretion to decide, is this a keyword that is worth writing enough about this specifically uh, or should you change it to something like eco camping, eco resorts? Uh, but either way, this is gonna give you a, a lot more this is, going to, this is a great start uh, for your keyword research for semantic relevance, especially if instead of going with eco lodges, you know, you're like environmentally friendly retreats. And then you're going to mention things like eco friendly cabins, eco camping, eco resorts, right? So there's a lot of opportunity here, even for this keyword, uh, even without needing any tools. And then even from here, you can take this keyword, um, open up a tool like answer Socrates, just to even find more and more uh, keywords pop this in here, right? You do Canada, boom, boom. And then you see what comes up here. If there's a lot of keywords, then uh, uh, it could be a good option. Prepositions, it's just pulling the Econo Lodge, even though it is Eco Lodges. So maybe not the best uh, example for this, but again, you can pop it, you can pop any of the keywords into here and just continue building out your list. Um, so yeah, this is just a, a quick, quick, quick preview of how useful these, uh, the assistance can be for building tools. And I'm going to work on a few right now, or maybe today and show you guys what I come up with maybe for SEO, even for YouTube or even lead gen. I mean, I really got to sit down and think of what I can, what I can use here. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of videos coming out with super helpful tools, but again, uh, definitely a game changer with, uh, when it comes to marketing and, and, uh, efficiency from a content standpoint, from a research standpoint. Uh, and yeah, as always, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments and we'll see you in the next video.